Kabaka. Sucker for love. First date. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I'm here! It's February. I've been delaying this for a while. So here it is, the first dating sim I'm playing, and I'm excited. So for anybody that doesn't know what Sucker for Love is, it's an Eldritch Horror dating game based on Lovecraftian entities. So there's a few mentionable characters, but the main one is Cthulhu, or Lynetta, who is this lovely little squid in the corner. So we're going to start there. I'm so excited. They're so cute. I won't lie and say that I've actually sat there and read a lot of Lovecraftian stuff, but the concepts get me. Concepts get my goat, so I'm, I'm very happy. The music stopped. Alright, I guess that's my cue. Oh, it's so cute! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically it's a horror game. It's a little of both! Happy February! Chapter 1. Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. How's it sound? Does it sound good? Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under a line stars heralds the end. It sounds pretty good? Alright, cool. I'm waiting for uh, when Lynetta starts talking, because that'll, that'll determine it. Today, the stars are aligned. It's me. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I'm a turtle. Ooh! Ooh, the shadow on the hand! That's a nice touch that didn't need to be there. And look at, oh, look at the particles. Oh, better wash my face to calm down. Gross. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me, Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Oh, God. Is that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing. But as of today... Oh, my name's Dee! I have the... I... As of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, y'all. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Oh, same difference. He said the same thing. Oh, what the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something. This looks like it just came from an office supply store. I love office supply stores, though. <laughs> no, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back, either. The scammer's probably long gone, too. That's what you get for buying... Unmarked boxes from the dark web. Damn it. I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. 
Did they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? Wait, is this symbol in the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look glit and gold, too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just a delivery confirmation message. Amazing! 100% real Necronomicon. Not clickbait. Not a scam. Gone sexual? I, I hate... I hate that. All of that. What the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then, what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to be my accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom. It's Relayan. The unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. Glad you knew that. How? <laughs> and me, somebody who can hardly learn an actual other language. And this dude has translated a non-existent language of Elder Gods. Fantastic. At least he's not just a pretty boy. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde. Embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? So I have a question. If it stinks of death because it smells like formaldehyde, isn't that... I mean, in the span of human history, uh, not a relatively new thing, but it hasn't always been a constant. So do you think the Necronomicon would smell differently, or the book itself would smell differently depending on who got to it at what point in time? Like in a point where they didn't use embalming fluid? Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. What is that computer running, Windows 98? This dude has a... I don't know what kind of material that is. Maybe leather? Cthulhu mask? On a bust? And you're wondering what the computer's running on? Actually, he has a poster of himself above his bed and you're wondering what his computer runs on. But thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. But yeah, you know, you understand what I mean? Like, if this was a time where they didn't use formaldehyde, would it smell like something else? Or if it's a culture that doesn't use it, would it smell like something else to them? So it could smell like death, is what I'm asking. Or would it always smell like that specific chemical? Just food for thought. I wonder if the actual thing frames that out. I have some reading to do. Did I read this? Speaking of, why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Oh. 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 Items. Nothing. Go down. The calling. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw the curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. How the fuck do you know what's in my room? All right, so turn off the bedside lamp. Draw the curtains. Turn off the light. Nice. It's a pretty pink room. Is that as close as I can draw the curtains? Yeah. I mean, who doesn't have a ceremonial knife above their flesh mask? Very true. Very true. Next to their turtle. It's the, it's the placement of everything, the feng shui of the room. In the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. Oh, don't like that. Don't like that. The dark is dangerous. Red. But how is this black fire candles? Okay. Red candles. Find and put on your ritual necklace. That. I got bling. Ah. Alright. And all is complete chant. Oh, I don't like that. Uh Lynetta Afar the Meg 
Pakdish to Nilgiri. Mortal. That. Uh, uh. Oh God! It actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of pep, I can't speak. I'm speechless. I I cannot make sentences. Look at those hips. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken oh, the Neha the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? Uh, I can't talk. See? See, it's not just me. I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread. Choking terror. My very sanity is teetering on the precipice. I'm looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. Oh no, she's hot! D -d Dark one, I ask you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? I mean, if you want to use destroyed in that sense? No, I want to smooch you. Eh? What? Come over. I want to smooth. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I am mad. I'm madly in love. Look at those curves. Listen to that voice. Wow. Wow. Dude, my guy. Please dial it back a little bit. Be a little formal. You have a lady in your presence. She's royalty. She's she's questioning you. Y you know, be a little less forthcoming. I'm mad with lust. Send me back. What? Right, right. Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But will you have such a stud by your side to do it? I don't think so. Right! I'll be long dead by then. Exactly! Ma'am! Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is- Where'd you get that book? Oh, the lean over. I- <clears throat> Huh? What? This? I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Moo? Who's that? Are they the one who left this funny looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's a Necromomicon. Uh... Please don't go back. I have no friends. I spent my life savings on those. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? This one. Right here. God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? It's only the exact same shade as her hair. Look at the way her little tentacles fold on top of each other by her mouth. Oh, that's so cute! It's like doing the same thing as her arms. Her arms are in front of her and like intertwined and all like carefree and happy. And so is her little mouth tentacles. That's so cute! Or, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. All right. For what? For dating me. See, first I talked about lust, and now you're going back to dating. Actually, first I said smooch, and then I talked about lust, and now you're talking about dating. So are we gonna, like, get to know each other over some drinks, or are we just gonna finagle for noodle and just be done with it? Because survival guy kind of sounds like, you know, 
getting through the home stretch. Kyle? Oh, uh, no! But also, I am now imagining it. Oh god, all those suction cups. That's like when you have a band-aid on, so it, like it's doing the main job on the wound that it's covering, but everywhere around it, the functional part of the band-aid is stuck. So then you gotta rip it off, and then it just like takes part of your soul with you when you rip off the band-aid and some hair and everything else. Wait. Squids have beaks, don't they? What, really? This thing? I knew you'd do that, but it was worth it. Listen, in all good conscience, I can't keep it, but do I want to? Fuck yeah. Do squids have beaks? They do, right? So maybe I don't want to think about that. I knew it was this game. <laughs> uh, mommies. Mm -hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Need me some of that. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off, even though none of it went toward this book. Not a single damn cent. Wait, what'd you just say? Protect my sanity. Yet you're dealing with the Elder God. I, I feel like, what kind of idiot that leads with his sausage doesn't think about the fact that he's summoning a god that destroys your sanity? If he knows what a Necronomicon is, then he knows that your mind goes. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension, so no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Her outfit's distracting me. Ma'am, I know you're covered from, like, tit to taint, but it leaves nothing to the imagination. Holy shit. Oh my god, I love her. Um... Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. See, it's not just the thighs, but it's the, um, the sigil that she has hanging from her hips, where, like, the rope's cutting in just right. It's better than any thigh high could ever be. But I'm kind of focusing on the midriff now, where it, like, it cinches. It, looks, it just looks so nice. Shout out to the artist, bro. Thighs save lives. Are her thighs also tentacles? Now my mind's just going. You'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. I will. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Um. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Oh. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? But the world didn't. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. You could have infinite kisses, but no life. Or life. Infinite life. But no life. What would you pick? Her feetsies probably have suction cups. That's so cute! Is she technically yonder if... Is she yonder if she's, like... Pre... Cognitive thought, like pre-universal. Does she? Does that, does that count? Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. I've never heard that. I'm pretty sure if you've already eaten the poison, you should probably go to the ER and see if they have an antidote. So if the world is going to end either way, deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the Invoke the Deaths ritual? I'll invoke the deaths. Oh! What's with the worried look, darling? Oh, wait, did I take the poster down? I didn't mean to! 
I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says so. But you aren't alone. I'm here. Yeah, you are. You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. <laughs> I'm not gonna have long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? Bet. Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. Technically, compared to you, no one's in this world for the long haul. These rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. Fair. Hot. Um... Do I... It's so nice outside, and then it's all going to go to shit. I'm back. Oh. I'm pink. I am no longer pink? What did I do? Lynetta, I'm sorry! You know, I didn't expect you to last this long in the same room as me. I mean, I've built up my endurance over a long time. See? I spent a lot of time preparing to smooch it. It'd be a waste if I lost my grip on reality and tripped at the finish line. My guy. Or, maybe you're only holding it together because you've already gone insane. What if I'm just what your mind wants to see? Things don't look like they did before I got here, do they? Yeah, things look better now that you're here. Oh. Uh, this is so smooth. Yes. He probably was going insane, that's why his hair was pink. I feel bad washing it off, though, every time. Okay, it's back, because I talked to her. Nice. Alright, let's see. Actually... Items. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? What's on your mind, darling? Lynetta, you're an eldritch heart. I mean, dark... Cosmic entity. That one. Right, sorry. Have you met the, uh, others? The other cosmic entities? Of course! Really? I actually had a lot of questions about Kasatha that I couldn't figure out in my research. Darling. Yes? This is us time. If you mention another woman one more time, this date is over, and I'll save you for last. I'm gonna mention another woman. You Darling, can't you be domineering up, over me. I don't have a life left. I'm doing fine, but these rituals are a little tough to get through. Oh, poor thing. Do you need me to spoil you a little? As encouragement. Yes. If it's not a kiss, keep it to yourself. Oh. What a one-track mind! You have anything left to say? I saw a cute little black cat by the window. Oh. Oh yeah, that's my neighbor's cat. My neighbor's an asshole. But he's into occult stuff too, I guess. And his cat is nice. Wow, a nice cat. I see. What's the cat's name? Let's change the subject. Why? Why are we changing the subject? Okay, alright. Um, I think we're done. Why are you staring, darling? You're embarrassing me. In front of who? Oh, I didn't mean to stare. It's just... Just what? Is your hair made of tentacles? <gasps> I'm a cosmic entity beyond your comprehension, darling. So that's a yes. So... So of course I'm mostly made of tentacles. Yes! Darling, what's this I found under your bed? <gasps> I have no clue what it said. Oh. No clue what it says. But 
What was that bra supposed to cover? Does it cover those eyes? Odin, be quiet. I'm inquisiting. Volume 3. Where's Volumes 1 and 2? Oh, that's my Eldritch Encyclopedia. I haven't translated it yet, but its diagrams are useful. Oh, you studied it extensively then. Yes. I sense I've made some sort of mistake. Nah. What gave it away? I guess. Why, what's up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. Uh, what? Really? I thought it was an anatomical guidebook. Nice. My guy. Big Slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 3? I bet you can learn a lot of anatomy from this. Perv. Big Slippery Shogoth Girlfriends. I need Volumes 1 and 2 now, please. I said I haven't translated yet. How was I supposed to know? This girl on the front isn't wearing anything. She's topless. Oh, I, I see. Indicative from the the bra hanging off of her and the hair indicating that she is indeed a human-like being. I, 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 okay, I get it now. That's a girl. It just looks like an amorphous mass of tentacles to me. The fuck it does. Is this what you wish I looked like? You're literally the girl from my dreams. How can I dream of anything better? I really truly don't. Trust me. Look, Lynetta, you're smoking hot. I could never have eyes for anyone else when I'm with you. You're my dream girl. Aww. Aww. Sheesh. You're going to make me blush. Sheesh. I seriously didn't know it was a dirty mag. Honest. It's okay. I forgive you. Do you? That said, can I keep it? Not a chance. <gasps> now where are you? Where'd you go? Are we done? Did you stop talking to me? You're gone. She's... Oh. Hey, out of curiosity, have you dated before? I have too, so I was mainly just wondering what kinds of guys you're into. Well, I kind of have a thing for guys under a billion years old. I know, I know, I'm such a cradle robber. I have no comment. A billion years old? I was talking about humans. What kinds of humans have you dated? Uh, let's just say you're the nicest guy I've dated by far. Ah. Sheesh. Were they really that bad? Well, my last human ex hit me with a boat. So the bar is low. Ah. You've dated non-humans too? Of course. Though, me being single now kind of tells you all you need to know about how those relationships went. You ate them. Got any stories? I dated a beholder once. Was he beholdering those boulders? How'd that end? You know, in hindsight, I shouldn't have been surprised that a sentient mass of eyeballs was seeing other women. Literally! No, where'd you go? Please. I have so much to ask you. I can't ask you anymore! Okay. Uh, calling I did. Cool. What? Okay, I thought there was a flash of something. Do not perform this ritual alone. I'm not alone. I have you guys watching. And also my hot girlfriend. And Odin. He's here too. Snuff all the light from the room. Okay, I think that's done. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. I can pee when all is complete. Chant. Okay. That. 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 Is this open again? No. Oh, I can't close this. I guess the door being closed is good enough. I'm a mess. Turn on my sink. Can I turn on both? I'll close this so it doesn't drip. I know it's the end of days, but like... 
actually. I don't know. Never mind. Don't want to get water on the floor. All right. I snuff the light. I'm not alone. Turn on your sink or shower. When all is complete, chant. Nafvolvictagen. Eagle ought really in yog famil. Home sweet home. Um. You know, since I invited you here, shouldn't you have been polite and dealt with my home turf first for the first date? Are we? What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Thank God. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. She did a little hop. Will I be okay? You keep asking the dumb questions, dude. Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? I've been doing them on my own. What have you done? You've lodged around on my bed. You didn't even take my milk. The, the one from... Kyle, the, the milk from my fridge. The milk from my mini fridge. No, no, no. Wait, why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Ah, uh, not really. Uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Okay. Haha, <laughs> okay. I mean it. Don't peek. Uh, okay. But you didn't say I couldn't, like, put my hand in there and cover my eyes and just, like, flail it around and see what it hits, right? I mean, I won't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? I just told you what my plan was. I couldn't be any more transparent. Positive. Be back in a chippy! Yay! I'm going! I'm going for it! Boys! I can turn that off. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Worth it! <laughs> it says Met Lynetta, but I thought it was like Melanetta, like my lady. So that's where I'm at. I invoke the depths. Home sweet home. Control. Let's fast forward. Okay. So I'll shut off my sink again. Um. She. They did say don't go outside, right? Oh, it's beautiful. No, it said don't look out your window. Not worth it? Bad end. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Invoke the depths. I'm so Alright. Glad those noises still happen when I fast forward. Totally love that. Alright, invoke the depths. Abyssal mist. Ensure your sink or shower is running. My shower is running. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning and will just help lower your electricity bill. Before I leave? Like, am I going out on the porch again? Yig yig me hero stelbzna ah mega megoka. Jeez, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Hey! <gasps> Darling, you didn't! I did it! I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. It is kind of nice, actually. I didn't know you have a house on the water! I don't. I am in an apartment. I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. 
even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? You ask that after you summon a god! I don't know how else to say it, dude. Oh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. Mm. There, there kind of is, though. I hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? I'm oh, sorry. Can we go back inside? Now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? Yes. My nips are poking. It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. Way to make me feel comfortable. Does she have a little mole up here? That's so cute. Like, like, I keep looking at it when she leans forward. Is that a little freckle or a mole? That's adorable. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Every time she says horror, I think she's saying horror. And I want to be like, oh, don't say that about yourself. But, uh, uh, unspeakable horror? Like, some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Alright, we're going back inside. Hello. No, I can't talk to her anymore. Right. Okay. Oh! Haha! I like that. Oh. oh my god, I got scared! Yeah, duh! That's why it's an unspeakable horror! How did this get- this game is so cute. How did it scare me? Before stream, I was chilling with sentient box, and I jolted because I snored and I woke myself up. I didn't know I fell asleep. <laughs> I didn't expect to, but I took like a one minute nap. Unspeakable, get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Then make me not human. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can! I can pronounce anything! Can you say the alphabet? Make me a demon, yes. Anything? Anything. Oh yeah? Then what's this? Dude, my guy. Worcestershire sauce? You know it was actually named after a place called Worcestershire? I cook with it. A, a good amount. It's very good. Damn, you are the real deal. Got me swooning. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? And your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Oh. Show off. How's that show off? Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Oh damn! He's right. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Oh my god! Toy boat, 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 toy boat. She did say it a little slow though, so maybe I'm being too overzealous. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Oh my god, I can't get past seven. Toy boy! Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. It is hard, holy shit! Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Alright, that's ten. I don't think I can say it faster than that. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Nope. Alright, goddamn. Talk to me. I'm lonely. Okay. <sighs> when will I be able to? This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easily, like a bathroom, where no robes or ambulance have a ritual knife on your person. Uh, knife. All 
right. Let's go. Turn you off. Go, go, yo. Pagan, stop. You may go now. You make on Is that a gamma? Why'd I do that? Electric mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. No, I want to say the blue word. Ritual time. It's been ritual time. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Are you a prostitute? Actually, no. I don't think they would care. They're down to earth. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Oh yeah, he is a model. Never mind. Okay. Big breaths. Brace yourself. I'm fine. I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. I hate you. Please. For the love of God. You know who he reminds me of? Actually, no, because the person I was thinking of is a little more of a bitch. Vincent from uh, Catherine, the game. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta? Yes? Oh, Jesus. Ah! You startled me. <laughs> you, you called me! Yeah, but you just, like, poof. Uh, uh, who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! It was me! She takes a hold of my hand. Already? We're moving that fast. Whoa, hand holding on the first date. Holy shit. Hand holding on the first date? Moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hands, silly. I mean, I usually am forced to. I haven't had a girlfriend before this, so... My hand. Oh! It wouldn't be as daunting if there wasn't... This weird... Webbing. Oh, f What? What? Get it off! Quick, help me cut it off! Hurry! Cut it off? But it's your hand now! See? Like, did you not read the book we did, though? It said... It, I, I literally just made the motion with my hand, like you can see it on the screen. Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's very much an embodied mouth, indeed. Why is it so pale? Is this really my hand? What did I do to my hand? <laughs> it literally said go to a place where gore can be cleaned easily. <laughs> yep. Darling, are you alright? Sorry, I had to take a drink break. But I don't have an extra mouth to drink with, so I had to you know, stop reading for a second. This is screwed up. I mean, I knew it'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement at this early on? Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Yeah, right. Ooh, I can eat with that hand now! I don't have to get my face dirty. It's perfect for my image as a male model. But... But I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch ya. <laughs> Darling. Is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? Busted for what? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. 
Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? Just mind your business, neighbors. If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it. I even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. That's pretty sus. You did this to yourself, you can't blame anyone else. Truth. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. Will they? I don't think they can search your room without a warrant. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. They literally- Look, dude, your door, if you look into your room, you cannot see anything behind it. If you don't let them into your house, I'm pretty sure they can't come in. So she can j just lounge on your bed like she's been doing. Why are you so dumb? Oh, I planned this from the beginning. I got the room on the top floor so nobody would bother me. And you don't understand how anything in real life works. You don't even understand how the Necronomicon works. Like, oh, I'm ruining my image. No shit, you're ruining your image. Hello? Are you in? <laughs> I heard you shouting just now. Come on, let me in. Oh. Crap. It's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be at the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world-bending spells I've been casting? Who is that, darling? Um... No, he does remind me of Vincent from, um, Catherine. He does. Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? And do what? No! I mean, no, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You're a demon. I guess that's a good point. Well, she's not she's not a demon, she's kind of like the She's not really a demon, so she's 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 a, she's a lady. Still a demon. She's a god. She's not from... She's from the depths, but not that kind of depth. Wait here. I'll be right back. Wait in the bathroom. Missy! Hey! Good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. The eye patch. Missy. She's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. Oh, sugar mama. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours. But it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. Do I have a restraining order? No, I think... I think she's supposed to... She's... I want her here. Let's... I'll speak for me and him. I want her here. Oh god, yes. Oh hell yes. Oh. Y'all really want to do Lynetta dirty like that right now? Right, this way m Wait, Lynetta's inside- Oh my god, he's so- He's so dumb. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got so caught up in the moment I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Oh, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Please. Not now. I'm a weak man. A present that has to be given in private. Oh man, what could it be? <laughs> Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. Do you not see your hand? Mouth? Daydara hand? I wonder if I had some clay. If Lynette and Missy meet him, toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. 
Oh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Alright, that's a you problem. Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Why do you... I, I feel like if, if somebody typed up, if somebody transcribed all this dude's lines and just got, like, a Word document of all of his lines transcribed, the word that would appear the most after the, all the common words and the the articles and everything, after all that, the word that would appear the most is forgot. Right next to remember, which is preceded usually by did not. That's this guy. That's him. And you know what? I vibe with that. Sadly. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. The Lord is testing me! Actually, no, the, the Lord is apparently in my bedroom. But, ma'am. Darling, what's taking so long? I miss you! Is Leonard coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? You have company over? Considering it's the first time you've come to my apartment, I don't think you should be able to judge if I have company or not. That's just the... mailman? Inside your apartment? Listen, I really respect the USPS. Or whatever carrier. I, I guess... I guess he's probably in Japan because of all the... All the, all the text that's been around, so I really... I really respect the mail carriers, you know, sometimes I just like to- You know how people leave out, like, treats for them? Like, cookies and granola bars and water and soda, just, like, to thank them for dropping stuff off? Yeah, I go the extra mile. I like making sure that they're really comfortable, and then, like, give them a slap on the ass and send them on their way so they can continue their day and they're all relaxed. So, the mailman's in my room. You can't go in there right now, and you have no grounds to question me, because though you pay my rent, you do it willingly on your own, and I have never asked for a cent of that. So, don't question what I do on my own time, and I'll see you at work. I love you. Goodbye. Shoot. I got my lame excuses mixed up. No, no, no. It's perfect. Perfect. I got you, boo. Hey, what do you think you're doing? My best. One. I mean, if you were facing the way you were facing and my door was to your right, technically I slammed the door to, at your shoulder. So, we're still good. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I can survive this. What's going on, darling? Well, I appreciate your delivery services, Lonetta. Is what I was just telling my friend on the porch. Uh, turns out it was one of those, uh, door-to-door -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know? <laughs> Let me in now! As you can tell, they're very pushy. They don't respect the postal service. <laughs> I don't want any! <laughs> want me to make them go away? Stop lying! <laughs> Who, me or darling? <laughs> no, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they give up. Did she finally give up? Wow, I was... I was persistent to the very end. All extra... Six seconds. That's the longest I've lasted being that persistent. His name's Darling! Better smooth things over with her later, before she tries anything crazy. Like coming to my room with a knife! Oh, wait, I have a knife. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Just tell the truth, gosh dang it. She will flay me. She is a literal mind flayer. She will flay my mind. And my ass! Oh, wait, I can do this. Oh, mm. 
filters, pimps, shiverable vent, till my vignum. Oh, that voice was deep. I did it. Metamorphosis. I read that book. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoking the depths. I did. If you see or hear something strange, call the Ghostbusters. It is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way. Imposter or tapestry. Okay. Wear a ceremonial. Okay, so first... I think that's the only image? No. Ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. My necklace. My robe. What does that say? Lipstick for... Okay. I don't know. I don't want that. I guess it stays then. I don't know if I can put it anywhere. Alright. So I have ceremonial robe and ritual necklace wear a mask. Oh, there it is! Have ceremonial knife on your person. Remember the second step on the previous page. Who is the Cthulhu lookalike's name? There's a Cthulhu lookalike? Oh, like the, her? She is Cthulhu. Lynetta. I got my knife. Right. When all is complete. Alright, cool. Yeah, it's like, um. Here, where is it? Oh? Her name, her name, her name. Well, that's, that's what I was trying to, to find, was the spelling of her name. Oh my god. Do not cover your ears, you will need them. Nothing is just your imagination. Sweet! I'm very glad that was a thing. It's like... I could just talk to her, right? I can't talk to her anymore. She'll talk to me after I do this. You'll say her name. Okay. All is complete. Chant. Hup. Hopkinson, Bidson, Gul, Asbison, Coria. Hello, handsome. There you go. L N Poshree E T A. Do you like my little tentacle? And I thought you were cute for a human before. <gasps> now you're totally my type. Cephalopod? I mean, if that's your type. I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can. I have no mouth! But I must scream! I can't even manage a whisper. Wrong, um, horror writer. Something is not right. What happened to me? Look at that little cuff! Oh. He's... He's smiling. Alrighty. Is it really? Mm. Guess I can put the poster back. Can I see myself, please? Oh! Oh! Flesh tentacles! Ah! Uh, I have little freckles! Look at how cute! Yeah, but I saw... Oh my god! Uh, 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 get it away! Get it away! My guy, please! Okay! Um, new plan. Back away, slowly, and leave. Oh my god. Um... 
Ah! Ah! Break up. This ritual will sell. Oh shit! What are you looking at? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I have no mouth, but I have eyes, and you didn't say I couldn't look at the book. You gave me the book specifically to continue what I was doing, so all of it should be fair game. I'm just saying, it's just literature, it's not real, I'm not gonna break up with you, please, you already broke my face. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? That's what I said! Is that the truth? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? I literally almost pissed my pants, yes. Good. I know what page you were on. Okay. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Okay. I want to try it. Room be well lit, ensure that symbols present, and chant assertively. Alright. Well lit, well lit, well lit. Ooh, ooh, squiggles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe be in the bathroom. Nice. Bet. <laughs> um, um, oh wait, no, her name's the first one, she'll hear me, and she has to be in the room. Her offering, okay, um, uh, uh, I'm just gonna try, I, I know it'll be a bad end, but I'm just gonna, oh, Jesus, okay, alrighty. Um, uh, uh, oh my God, this is so much. I didn't do this. Thing. This on, this on. Hello. Alright. I guess I'll. scared by something that wasn't in the game. Okay. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. To my comfort. Um. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, cold storage. Oh, this is just my head now. Great. Oh, it's green. Sure, that symbol's present nearby. That one? Yes. Yo, go, go, you make me. Oh! Yo, go, go, you make me pog. Yeah. That already smells delicious, darling. What did I make? All it needs is a little something, and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. What did I make? 
What did I make? I made cake. Cake. Reach into oblivion. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. Alright, done. I'm sure that symbol's present. Eyeball, eyeball, eyeball. Eyeball. Angie eyeball. Have another life form on your person. Demon time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little dude. Chant. Go yow mcpog stock you make gonna um do not cover your ears you will need them nothing is just your imagination Turtle. Hi, little dude. Um. Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name. Don't judge me. Can I turn the lights back on? Yay! I'm feel so much better. Oh, those are my thingies. Hey! Oh, he's going. Mom, I'm scared. I'm sorry. Something terrible is blocking the door. I took a big deuce. Hey. All right, goddamn, fine. Hi, Odin. Can you protect me? Come up here. Good boy. Should I open? Oh! How far back is the checkpoint? Prepare offering. I already prepared the offering. And I reached into oblivion. No, I want to go back. Okay. So that's not the checkpoint I wanted to load from? So, prepared offering. Alright. Alright, cool. It automatically did it. Oh, that scared me. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! There's a knocking. Um, 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 uh, I hear screams. Oh, Jesus, you, me. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You'll be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights or you will attract their attention. Uh, I'm sure this symbol is nearby. Come on, weird squiggle. No! Ah! I wonder if there's actually a time limit. Ah, uh, chant. Oh, Jesus. Do I have no teeth? Y yum, hair roll, still. Um, make. Pig go, go. No! Ha! Ha! Um. There is tentacles. Okay. Um, she's coming, and sure, this symbol's present nearby. Um. Oh, fuck! Which one? That one. Um. Yeah, yeah. Hup, Mick, Volk. 
an hour oh make he yo like okay I don't know what changed cool if she gets into your room it's too late ensure this symbols present nearby fan tickety tastic oh my god where that one oh Jesus I guess there is a time limit um repeat this chant until you believe you're safe you make her all still does not um make I'm not safe here I'm not safe here I'm not safe here I'm not safe here there was a time limit holy shit oh that's not great darling what's wrong you're pale as a sheet I can tell by the look on your face you caught a glimpse of the real world wait 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 it's still playing in the background it's still playing in the background oh my god it's still playing in the background um uh please stop playing in the background he smells delicious darling uh um uh it was it, it just it kept muttering it kept muttering in the background not about that life please Aka -baka. listen you sucker for love first date okay um i'm gonna load please don't continue chanting <laughs> okay that already Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, great. Fantastic, fuck you. Right, uh, no doors, blinds, ensure that symbol's present. Is this on? No. Right, cool. Um, the cross with the circle. No. And the other cross with the squiggles. Until I'm safe. Until I'm safe. Until I'm safe. No, no, no. Please. You. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Double fuck you. I'll flip you off with my tentacle hands. But you're still hot. I did it! I did do it! Oh, sweetie. Don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Okay. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. No, you should not tell me that. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence, and even escaping reality won't protect you. That's the wrong form of it's. There should be no apostrophe, and I'm only nitpicking because you just put me through that. How dare you? If you like. I could move you to the front of the line and and you painlessly myself as thanks for waking me up um just just keep me in the dark about things and we'll be fine you wouldn't hear their screams anymore or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching oh you're moving too fast are you touching me on my spine or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last 
have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. I thought I cut off here and it was just like, my D. I mean, if that's what you need me to be. Turtle's back. Oh, your cake's done. Dark communion. Uh, prepare the offering. It's done. Region to oblivion's done. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. So, yay, cake. No necklace. Robe. Uh, well lit, I have this on, right? Yeah. Can I see myself? Is it worse now? Um. So, yay, cake. Yeah. Get some cake here. Some cake in my hand. Just as bad. Right. Uh, Ruby well lit. No robes or necklaces. The offering's the cake, right? Not the turtle. I'll keep him anyway. Nafal fictag u egal otrili in yogfim. Oh. Oh, she didn't voice it. All the sound went away. Okay. Delicious. Just perfect. I wish you could make offerings like this forever. There you go. You happy, Lynetta? Because you didn't voice it yourself. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. The breakup spell. Pledging yourself to me. Okay. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your fairy mouth and echo into oblivion. Thank you. The privilege is yours alone. Thank you. I am quite privileged. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Uh, I mean, can you let me live in ignorant bliss forever with you? Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Nap time! Could you hit the lights for me, darling? I'll do anything you want. Oh? oh. That's eerie. Thank you, my love. Um. Oh, something about those footsteps sound weird. Just as bad. Just as bad. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Okay, so just need just need a prep talk before we do this. We're gonna break up with her, right? I love her. I do. But she's been very toxic in this relationship and I don't appreciate that. So I think we're gonna break up, maybe amicably, so that way we can still talk with her as friends. And hopefully get my lower part of my jaw back. Alright, let's do this. Thank you, my love. Whack toxicity is hot. The... The song? Is good. This? The vibes coming off of her? Not good. Uh, I 
I love you so much. This ritual will sever your connection, restore your sanity, return you to reality in whatever state it is in. Great. I can rebuild jaw tissue. Let the room be well lit. Her toxicity is hot. <laughs> Won't she kill you? I mean, we gotta try, boys. Alright. Simple, 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 simple. Alright. See, if I really just needed all those symbols, couldn't I have drawn it on, like, a... Like, an easel? Like, the paper they have at grade schools, so then I'll have all the symbols and then I just flip through them instead of redrawing all of them in a cycle. Alright, um... The room be well lit. Yay! There you go, sweetie. You can go back. Room's well lit. Lynetta Miguel is Migurla Mega he And again. And again. <gasps> ah! That actually genuinely scared me. Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Oh, that's not good, is it? Did I really do it? <laughs> She's so cute! Why did you break our connection? I'm cut off from the rest of me! You're so cute. Oh my goodness. I would give up those hips any day for that. Look at that. Oh my god. How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? You literally broke my face. I did what I had to do. Right. My guy. Sorry, darling. World's not ending today. I think we should see other people. And you were toxic. But why? Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? You literally didn't put out a single smooch. But now you were fine. It's just, you know, the, the things don't really work out. You know, sometimes, like... People can get through the awkward situations and deal with it, but it's just not my style. You know, I picked this apartment on the top floor, so nobody could actually, like, hear us arguing and shit, but that didn't work because someone heard us, so, you know, you're just putting a, like, a little, little wrench in my plans. It's just, it's just, maybe we can see other people. You can see all because you're omnipotent. And I can see the postal carrier. Is there... Is there another woman? No, none of that. It was pretty much just that you were going to end all reality. And? No, that's it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Nope, that's it. That's the deal breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place! Yeah, but I was like... Yeah, I was way in over my head. Nah, girl, there's a man. Surprise, I'm gay. Do you work at a club, you know, like, some things get to other things, and I'm not as close-minded as most of us humans are, so I, I try to be, you know, fluid, like water. Like, you, you get water, right? You understand how that works? See? You, you understand me. Plus, I don't think... Te technically, she's not one gender, right? She's just everything. She's everything. All at once. Everything, all of the time. And it was too much. I couldn't handle. I couldn't handle everything all of the time. Come on, we both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? Fit those tentacles on my face! Give me a smooch. If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. I'm not picky. Eh, the squid's fine too. Wait, what? Yeah.
And my jaw's back. Oh no. No, my jaw's broken again. Good end. Good enough end. Okay. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. All right. Ritual knife on your person. That is literally all I have left. Chant five times to fill the heart. Lynetta off art. The main pot dish to no gurry? Oh. Okay. Okay. And one more. There's a little bit right there and a little bit right there and a tiny bit right there. That's bothering me. Oh, the sound effects. Or the voice. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. See, I'm picking up your slack again, because you're slacking. You slept and did absolutely nothing. And I'm literally bleeding out for you. <laughs> okay, alright, you're forgiven. I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Hmm. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. I would hope so. There was no one else involved. Well, there was one other person involved, but we don't talk about her. So why destroy me in all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Kinda. You got it right. Mm boop. Oh, my sweet oh. mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Yes. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No, I wake up because I hate myself. And usually if I like the dream enough, I try to go back to sleep so that I don't have to stay awake. So you're not putting as much effort into this relationship as I'm putting into you. I'm giving you almost literal arms and legs and you can't go back to sleep for me. No, it just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. But I want to smooch. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Yes. Buckle up, my darling. Huh. You've earned it. Gimme. Please? On, on the lips? Oh, I have to touch this. I like the Screams accentuating the end music. I'm liking the thick thigh shot. But are my arms gone? My jaw is gone. Is that you? Out here? How in all of that- wait, what the- oh, that's your hand. How in all of that mess did my headband stay on? They fall off if, like, a small wind blows toward your face. How? Oh, I'm glad you kissed me, but, like, goddamn. Alright, let's-
let's say. So start, Mulanetta, Invoke the Depths, Worth It, Which Was Bad, Eldritch Mouth, Prepare Offering, Escape Reality. Oh, these are both technically bad. So we achieved both the true endings for Lynetta. The King in Yellow! I love The King in Yellow. Oh, it's like one of the best stories. It really is. I'm so excited. However, this is where we are going to end. Sucker for love. First date. We completed all of Lynetta and we'll get to the king in yellow. So thank you to the people who have been watching. If you are not part of the community yet, if you are not following, give a follow. It's 100% free. It lets you know when I'm streaming next. Join the Discord. <laughs> follow my Twitter where I update when I'm going to be streaming. Subscribe to the YouTube channel that is in its infancy still. And I think that's it. All right, we're gonna end it here. Hope you guys have a good night, get some sleep, and wake up while rested tomorrow. See ya.